Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. I'm Dom. I'm Rob. And today we are going to be drilling holes in some carbon fibre. One hole, only one. And this is the wrong size starter car. We don't want to do a peat, do we? No, we do not want to do a peat, even though that is smaller. That, yeah, but then once you've drilled a hole, Harder it's not to easier drill. to, yeah, to yeah. put a bigger hole. Anyway, we jest. Um, we're going to be fitting the tunnel top now. This goes on top. Now, normally, you'd be making two holes. Yeah. But we're only making one because we don't have a handbrake handle. Well, we do. We don't have a handbrake Handle. lever, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got an electronic handbrake. So we are going to be just drilling a hole for the gear shift, and we'll show you how we've done that. How we're going to measure it? I mean, measuring it just off the back and then center working a distance and, yeah. and drilling. This one shouldn't be horrific. No, fingers, um, fingers crossed. How much was the tunnel top? <laughs> I actually can't remember. <laughs> With carbon, but so I'm guessing it's we, not cheap. There was only a small run of about 10 or 15 that were made. Oh, so it's like a so we had it, hard to get part, yeah? Well, we had them custom made, so. Nice. Yeah, as part of a group buy, and then it's been PPF'd as well. No pressure then. So, yeah, no pressure. I'm, I was told though, PPF's fine to drill and it won't. Oh, okay. So That's good. Because I did check, so it's PPF'd, because I was worried about <laughs> seat belts, like scratching this lovely carbon, <laughs> so it can scratch a lovely PPF instead. All right, I guess we'll, uh, we'll get stuck into it straight after the intro. Right, so we're going to drill this then, yeah? Yeah, just... What um, size hole did we go for? 70 mil. So we've worked out... Let me grab the camera and show them. Yeah. Take that. It makes more sense if I show them. So we basically worked out how far the throw is on the gear shift by Rob knocking through the gear. So if you want to give him a quick... A quick, quick demo. Quick gander. So we've just... Oh, let me get lower. There we go. So we worked out by masking it roughly how wide it needs to be to try and work out the size of the hole that we're going to be doing. Um, and that was about 64 mil or something. Yeah, so we're going to do a 70 mil round hole. Round hole, um, just to make it look nice. And then obviously it's up to you whether you do a gear shift, cover, a like gator, a gator, yeah. you lever gator, or you do some sort of carbon thing, or you do a sliding disc, which is probably what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that's what we will aim to do. Put something underneath with a, a circular that disc that will sort of move. It slides around and follows the, so the gear shift so you yeah. can't see through. It'll probably be mounted. Into the mechanism. I'll It'll have be to mounted get, this to that. get this painted. It'll yeah. be mounted to that, yeah, and that, you won't see anything. All you'll see is like a black, nice little disc. And there's our electronic um, handbrake, linear actuator which goes on to the handbrake there, so we don't actually have it, we'll just have a button. And I'll be able to be like this. Yeah. Be just a bit of... chilling, no handbrake yeah. getting in the way. No handbrake turns no. either. But the um... old the handbrake, <laughs> the button is on the steering wheel as well. So it's easy there if you want to do a handbrake turn. I'm joking, you won't be able to. Yeah, we'll put a hydro in later on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, offer it, offer it up. I know you can't offer it on, but, um, but basically that goes like that. And what we're going to be doing is measuring from the back here the distance to the center of the um, gear knob yep. or, and then we'll basically measure on the panel from there that far center it and then do that because I'm, I'm guessing lift that off again I'm guessing the gearbox sits dead center we do need to check that we do we That's probably should probably an idea we can rest that there because I can I can get yeah. some masking tape and we said because is that the, the, is always the question is where is the tape measure Tape measure's here, must contact oh, okay. So if we say, for, I think it was, for argument's sake, 710 mil to the centre. Yeah. Yeah. So if we just hold that there, kid. Oh God, it's too handy job It is PPF, so we're not worried about scratching it. It's giving me a little bit of a funny feeling inside that is. What's that? You just slide in a tape measure on the old carbon fibre. We're saying it's there. Could not go more backwards about going forwards with this thing. Let's get a couple of bits on it. Right. How are we going to fix this down then? I think we've come up with a good couple of solutions. Yeah. Because we're drilling the carbon. Yeah. Right. So do your, put your 710 on there. And then we need to go down and measure on the car what so right so j jump down onto the oh 
going to go side to side. Yeah. And then let me um, ruler that across. Tell you what, having this roll cage is coming well handy. It is, isn't it? Cool. Right, cool. so go down onto the car and measure the gear knob and make sure it's roughly centre of yeah, the Yeah, I was going to say, the only thing is we haven't got... I, yeah, no, no, but you can, roughly, you can roughly work it out based on the roll bar. So we're saying 76 mil to centre. It's going to be different front to back, isn't it? Yeah. No, I would say with far. the side panel on, I would say it is centre. You would you would make the assumption that okay, it's centre. Okay, let's try. I can actually. We don't need this tape. We don't now, need do it we? anymore now because we've done that. I can go. Four, 40, to the inside of the tube, yeah. Say 45 mil. Just there or thereabouts. Mm, this is about 40 mil. Hmm. How can we actually get this? I'll tell you what we'll do. I mean, we are slightly oversizing the hole anyway, so that's less of an issue. Obviously, we've got a side panel on, though. That's the thing. Yeah. I was doing inner edge more than our edge, but how can we? I don't know how we could do it. All right, so let's go like this then, uh, right there. Yeah, I'd say we're... It's, it's as centre enough as it's going to be for what we need it for. Yeah, worst case, we'll have to... Um... Like I said, we got a... I think we worked out we got, we're going to put a six mil bigger hole in it than we need yeah, to. Yeah, so we've got three mil aside. Yeah. Let me just measure that from this side. Yeah, 82. So just double check that. So you're gonna pretend you're you're doing it ever so slightly closer that way. Yeah. Yeah, 45, 40. Yeah, yeah, so a few mil over that way will be be right. All right. Drill a bit and then stare at kind of on the floor or on your wood? On the wood, yeah. On the wood, yeah. Say what have you done with the stereo cutter? Mm -hmm. I've put the I've put the saw in it. This garage is only six meters wide. Like I don't understand how things can go missing so easily. I give it to you less than ten minutes ago. Golly gosh! Has it rolled under the car? Oh, there it is. It's Look. in the Brand new. Well. So we're oh, it's been used once. Seventy mil. Don't like this. I don't like this much either. I'll be honest. Oh god. Right, everyone say a prayer. of no return. Right, go on, just whip the tape off straight on the car. Let's have it. Let me just give it a wipe because carbon fibre dust. Yeah. Don't touch it with your bare hands. 
Now, of course, this is going to fit, providing Rob drilled it on the right end. <clears throat> oh, that would be a... Now the question is, will he get all the gears? And this is a snug fit, to say the absolute least. Yeah, I reckon we'll get all gears. Go on then. Well, I need to, I think we're gonna have to fix it down first. Nah, go on, have a go. Oh, I can't hold it, because it on. pops. <laughs> Making me do a bit now. There, there or thereabouts. Yeah. Touch the couple of tiny bits. It might need a little file up. Yeah. Like there. That, that's only when you push forward, it just touches. Yeah. So but when you pull it away. It's, it's not touching, yeah. No. So I reckon if we just give it a file up around the edge. Yeah, just be, clean it up, take a mill off. Yeah, that'd be bang on. Cool. Seems to fit nice though. Just obviously gotta work out how to hold it down because it wants to pop up. Twist and pop up. Mm. But it looks nice though. Looks very nice indeed. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, mate. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's have a look at getting it fixed down and then we can have a look at the front fixings and take it from there. So, now, fixings? We're going to use a riv nut, just four of them, so two at the back, which just here and done. here, which we've already done, and two at the front, which I believe they will be under the dash. Yep. So it's all hidden, so that they're behind the seats, they're, they're in pun dash, and then it just pulls down flush onto this. I am gonna get some foam, um, you know, like a- uh, Thin backed sticky thin, foam. Yeah, sticky yeah. foam, stick that on just for any rattles. But we thought we'd just show you uh, Riv Nuts. Most of you have probably used them by now, but obviously get the preferred one. We've got stainless steel uh, Riv Nuts and they're countersunk, yep. so they sit flush with the top. You want like just one thread maybe sticking through, make sure you set the handles up and all that. And just keep it straight, nice and simple. And then that. Is it? Is it? And then we should be able to, I'll get this one done. And then you've got a six mil threaded fix in there. No, four mil. Four mil, sorry, yeah, six mil hole, four mil. Which then just goes in. Lovely jubbly. Easy as that, eh? The hardest part is drilling the carbon. Did you give me two rib nuts? I did, you've lost one, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So we're gonna show you the finished item, although we are gonna take it back off to do some other bits like putting foam on, but that's obviously personal preference. So we've got all our holes drilled now, so they should just be able to, and we're using these little domed head M4 black screws. Sounded tight. Oh, that's better. And that's it. As easy as that, eh? I say as easy as that, wasn't it? Wasn't that easy, but that's not bad though, is it? No. Get these nipped up quick, just so we can see it. We'll give it a quick wipe. I want to see this. It's been more, sat more carbon fiber. Sat up in the loft for months on end. One of the things you buy and then don't think you'll ever actually get around to fitting. It does look good though. Oh yeah, it looks tidy, doesn't it? Like I said, well, when we do, we'll do a video, a video of finishings towards the end where we've got like gear gaiters and, and bits of trim and stuff. At the end, we just want to get everything in and working and then we'll, we'll suss out the finishing details. Rub frame tools everywhere. I need to make this hole a little bit bigger. Or is it just slightly offset? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Just, just pulling it a little bit too tight. All right, that not too bad. All right. No, just spinning in it. 
not actually going in. Oh, okay. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well chuffed. So, all fitted, all finished. The only thing we need to do is just figure whether we want like a little gator or whether we're going to have like a disc under here that, that moves around and I'll obviously paint this up. Um, but yeah, as you can see, two fixings at the back, two at the front. They're just with rib nuts, fully removable. We're going to put some foam on the underside just to, so it doesn't... Well, it's not too bad, but just so it doesn't yeah, rattle. Yeah, it's not ideal. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Obviously, you'll have to cut another little hole here for your handbrake, but we haven't got one of them. So. Plus, if you're going to do an, like a big uh, sort yeah, of a rounded could, over one to put a gator in. You could do like a BMW style or there's plenty out there, a little TT round one, something like that. Yeah. yeah. That'll look quite nice. Um, but yeah, so that's that's not too bad a job to be fair. I've, I've actually quite enjoyed this one. Just yeah. drilling. And it's, it's a nice wham, bam, done, lovely yeah. job. Let's Dr move on to the next one. Dr drilling the carbon fibre is always a, a bit of a scary moment, but that was all right. I think that looks good. Now I'll have to take it off and we'll go to MB Special and we'll see if we can do our little sliding plate, see how much that room we got because if, if we go too far it might hit never know how that's going to work but yeah. yeah hopefully we can make something work and that'll look cool but uh for now we'll catch you on the next one <laughs> and stay tuned see you later guys plenty more coming <laughs>